Interesting properties of receptors. These are mainly the modality, the location, the intensity and the duration. Coming to the modality, by that word I mean what type of stimulus they respond to. The example for this I can give is pain is the type of stimulus which is perceived by the nociceptors. Right? Now the second one is the location. The majority of the receptors are located in the skin and two terms we have to memorize over here are the receptor field and receptor density. Now receptor field is the specific area in which a receptor responds. That is the response area of a receptor. right? But the receptor density means easy to understand it is the number of receptors. So receptor field is nothing but the area in which it acts whereas density is the number of receptors. Now high receptor density is seen in lips fingertips. Here they help in short two point discrimination distance. That is suppose my points of stimuli are so close even that these areas can easily differentiate as two different stimuli. That is due to high receptor density. Now low receptor density is present in trunk and hips. You can understand that it can only discriminate far two point discrimination distance. Right? Now. The next property that we are looking at is the intensity. The receptors increase frequency of action potential in response to the intensity of the stimulus. So when there is less intensity of the stimulus then the action potential is also generated with a lower frequency. When the stimulus has a higher intensity the action potential will have higher frequency. And the duration, kindly look carefully over here. It is the time interval between the start and stop of the response. That is the duration. That is nothing but how long the receptor is active for the given stimulus.